integrated TIN validation. This tutorial will demonstrate how to use TINcheck.com's tax ID verification service through the 1099 Pro suite of software. 1099 Pro recommends that users always check for TIN and name mismatches. TINcheck is a service that allows users to validate whether or not a recipient's taxpayer identification number, or TIN, and name match within the IRS database directly from the 1099 Pro software. Even better, the TINCheck service also validates against the DEF Master File List DMF, and the Office of Foreign Asset Control List the OFAC. So avoid IRS penalties and validate TIN and name combinations directly from the tax form in your 1099 Pro software. This example will pick up from a point where you have already entered or imported tax forms into the software. To begin, on the main screen, make sure you have the filer and form type selected that contains the record on which you would like to perform a TIN check. Next, select Work with My Tax Forms in the upper left corner. You are now able to navigate to the record or recipient. Once located, double click on the form to open it. The record should appear in a new screen with the option to select TIN Validation at the bottom left corner of the form. The TIN Check Validation Service window will appear. A description of the three different list validations should also appear along with a Sign Up Now button on the upper right corner. If you don't have a TIN Check account, click on the Sign Up Now button. If you already have a TIN Check account, you can press the Configure TIN Check Account Information button on the lower left to log in. For this example, we will click on the Sign Up Now button. This will bring up TINCheck.com in your browser. There are several monthly or prepaid plans on which to choose. For our example, click on Create a Free Trial Account. The registration form will appear. Fill in all the fields with your information. Now that you have filled in your information, read the agreement carefully and check the I agree with the terms and conditions box at the bottom of the page and press continue. A trial account information screen will appear. You can now do real-time TIN matching at this website or you can go back to the 1099 Pro software and configure your account to perform TIN checks directly from the software. At the software login, type in your login ID. This will typically be your email address. Now type in the password that you created and registered with at the tincheck.com website. You can click on Test My Tincheck Connection Now to make sure you've entered in the correct login information. A window will pop up confirming your connection and tell you how many free Tinchecks you have left. Press OK. Now that your account's been set up, you will automatically be logged in for Tincheck access every time you log into your 1099 Pro software. Press Save. Now press Close. TINCheck will automatically process the record you originally picked to validate and return the result. The screen will show three results. First, the TIN and name result. Secondly, death master file result. And lastly, the Office of Foreign Asset Control results. You can also check your TINCheck history for that record. To do so, simply click the button in the lower left corner. This will bring up any past requests for that recipient TIN and name combination. You can view or print this history by clicking on the button in the bottom left corner. Press Close for now. If you have any questions about where the results are drawn from, you can go to the TINCheck.com homepage to see more information. Simply roll over the list name with your mouse to see a description of each list. Press close again to close your TIN check result window. This will bring you back to the record in the form you originally chose. Next to the TIN validation button, there is now a date and time stamp with the TIN check result for the record. If you look next to the recipient's ID number, there will be an indicator for the validation status of the TIN check. If you click on the indicator, a pop-up window will appear explaining what each indicator represents. After reading the list, press close. You can now click on Save Form and return to your list of records to continue working with them.